wondering if his teammates would take up for him. But Bill Barker absolutely annihilates and decapitates Chad Vaughn in upset. Wow. A big four points scored by Patsy Shaleen gives the Sundogs a three-point lead, which, by the way, is the largest lead any team has enjoyed in this game. It's been a very close, hard-fought game. Now it's number 12, taking what is a double lift. What a move by the Sundogs, giving Anthony Santiago back just long enough to drop the Sundog blocker, then springing it free. Some teamwork on the part of the California Quakes. There's a lot of teamwork, it's seemingly as long as it doesn't involve Sean Atkinson, and now trying to catch up to Santiago as they come around. This is number 13, Tom Smith, 5'6", 140 pounds. Both of these youngsters very, very quick, and that's we're seeing a little less physical play, and a great big job coming up by Anthony Santiago and Sean Atkinson around with Rusty Montgomery. Just back Tom Smith very quickly, and Atkinson again going at it, with this time with David Brady. Good job of catching back up to Lockerbie. I don't think Lockerbie was a 
smashing it. A half on an elbow from Glennie Carter by surprise and dropped him. Now you see Glennie trying to get by Lusty Montgomery. Montgomery setting him up now. And the fire service of John Atkinson absolutely levels David Glenny. But Glenny still right there was able to get by. They gave him the shoulder. He got by. Montgomery and he got by. John Atkinson on the Superman picking up two. The California Quakes 8. Welcome back, everyone, to Rotor Jam Arena. It's halftime. I'm Ken Resnick, along with Lee Raymond and Buddy Atkinson, Jr. About what we thought, a pretty close, fairly evenly matched game. But, Buddy, I've got to say, it looks like the California Quakes are kind of united, but united against the addicts of Sean Atkinson. But I think the story of the first half, Florida, we knew, was just a little quicker, and I think that speed has kept them in the lead. Well, I'll tell you what, I know Sean very well, and I know that he keeps these people a little off balance at times, but the game plan is to utilize what they're capable of doing, and they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, but, again, they got some dogs that are doing it just a little bit better, and maybe it'll continue, I don't know. And certainly maybe just a little bit quicker. But one thing we knew for sure, Hawk, when you put Sean Atkinson and Bill Barker on the track at the same time. When you put Denise Loden and Stacey Butch on the track at the same time, it's going to get physical. Well, and a lot of this may be out of frustration, Ken, but you're absolutely right. Watching this first half, I felt like I was in a junkyard because there was bulldogs running over loose everywhere. And we see here in the first half, right here, Denise Loden takes it right to Stacey Blitz. Hello, goodbye. A little bit later, we see uh, a couple returns of the favor, Russell Montgomery. Hello, goodbye. And last but not least, Wild Bill Barker, never to be outdone, lowered the boom on Sean Atkinson. You saw the Captain America take Sean Atkinson out, which we said to look for in the first period. And for those of you that like physical play, don't go anywhere because it's only going to get more physical in the second half, guaranteed. Now, here's a look at a feature that you should find very interesting. Rusty Montgomery was just a quiet quake blocker until he pulled off Denise Loden, thrusting himself into the center of the WSL out of controversy. Depending on who you ask, Rusty is either a champion of the feminist cause or an old-fashioned sexist trying to keep an ambitious woman in her place. I think what Rusty did was great. In fact, I'd throw a four on Phil if I was case. How can they allow a man to hurt a woman like that? It's unbelievable. It's just... It should have never happened. But this small town skater never knew how big time this controversy would go. I am just a prisoner in my own home. Rusty, you coward. I know where you live. I'm going to firebomb your house for taking a cheap shot on that girl. Now, Rusty Montgomery is the defense.